All right. We are going to start learning a Lightning Web Component by building our foundation on the JavaScripts that we are going to use when we are building Lightning Web Component. So to do that, I want to show on how you can set up Salesforce sites where we will be using as our playground to build and learn um, the JavaScript foundations for LWC. So let's go ahead and do just that. So I'm on my play um, playground, Trailhead playground. So to, to, to go here, as you know, you go to uh, this and then hands on orgs, which will bring you to this page. Now I'm gonna launch my LWC playground. I'm gonna launch this and set up sites. So I'm gonna to go to my setup over here and I'm gonna search for sites. Please follow along and do the same as you are watching this. So go to sites. So we are going to create um, a website for our playground for learning the JavaScript foundation for LWC. To do that, you have to decide the domain name where you are going to access your web pages or website publicly. So I'm gonna do this like I'm gonna do zone 2021 and I'm gonna check availability. That's available. I'm gonna check I have read and accepted the Salesforce sites terms of use. So you will use your own um, domain here, okay? Remember what you use on your own playground and then follow along and just, um, yeah, just follow me along. I'm going to register my Salesforce site domain over here. And I am sure, yes, sir. So let's wait a sec. So, okay. Allow using standard external profile for self-registration. Sure, why not? We're not actually going to use that a lot, but I'm just gonna save that. All right. So now we can create a new site here. All right. All right, site label, LWC Playground. Okay to train students on um, LWC, JavaScript Foundation. Well, you don't have to follow me on this part, but I'm just gonna fill this up together with you so you can see there. So default web address, this is, will be the default web address there. Okay, I'm gonna crank this up so you can see better. So that would be the default website. I don't have to add anything in the end here. I'm gonna make this active. Active site homepage. I think we need to create that first though. So, so this is what's available on our Visual Force pages. Let's see, we want to create, um, oh, let's do this for now, okay? At least we have something. Uh, we can use site login, site register. Let me see. Let's use ideas home. I'm just gonna use this uh, default. So inactive site maintenance, site template is this template. And then let's just leave everything as default because we're not gonna actually build a website. We're just gonna play with um, the Visual Force pages to learn the JavaScripts on LWC. So I'm just gonna leave everything as default. And let's see here. Referrer URL protection. Enabling this option will set referrer policy, origin when cross origin and content. Let's not protect it because we want to learn some cross reference which we don't want to cause any error. So I'm going to uncheck that. Let's see. 
I think we're good for now. Click Jack Protection. Allow framing by the same origin only. Yeah, that's fine. Well, if we're encountering any error when we're playing with our JavaScript, we can always modify these settings. So I'm going to do save for now. Yeah. It's saving. All right. All right. So let's create a new Visual Force page and then we'll change our home page to our Visual Force page. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to pop up a new tab over here. I'm going to create a new Visual Force page. So Visual Force pages. Let's make new one and name it. Um, I don't know. Let's name something new. Let's name this LWC training. Okay. For training LWC with Jimmy. Available for that. I don't want to protect it for now. So we have this beautiful congratulation. Okay. And I'm going to quick save this. Did it save? I think so. One more time. Yeah, it's saved. So I'm going to go back here. Okay, back to our LWC uh, playground site, which we created just now. I'm going to edit the home page from here to the new Visual Force page we just created. So I don't want the ideas home. Let's change this. Which this guy and LWC something there LWC training, which we just created. All right. I'm going to choose that and save this puppy. All right. So that's saved. Now let's um, open this guy. Or you can just hit the view here. View. Boom. Pretty neat, right? Now, if I go here on my, where is my, here. And I'm going to change this. Bada bing, bada boom. And I'm going to say to you. I'm going to say to you, whoever you are watching this video, we, oops, let's do caps, we are going to master LWC together. Boom! <laughs> With a little vibration there. And I'm going to quick save this guy and refresh this. Boom! Woohoo! Well, that's not looking too nice. Add some uh, breaks here. Okay. We are going to learn how to code stuff, you guys. Get some break over there. Boom! Whoa! Not nice, not nice yet. Right? One more. <laughs> Actually, this is the wrong one. I'm going to put the break yeah but a bing but a boom and then break and then break again right quick save and then you fresh this boom so now you have a public domain or a public website right so you can build pretty much anything we can code stuff right and then we're going to learn the javascript foundation before we dive in deep into the LWC development. So that's it. Before we move any further, I want you to do this first. So first you go to, to your Trailhead Playground, go to sites under setup here, set up your site, choose a domain name, and then create a Visual Force page, just like I did here, all right? And then use that Visual Force page as the index or the active home site page, 
right? Do that first, and in the next video right after this, we're going to start coding some JavaScript and learning some JavaScript together, and we're going to play it right here on Salesforce sites. Exciting, dude. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom